Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Pull the boat up along the Calabogie Sound, park it right by the lighthouse. For the 51st year, a top tier field of 88 PGA Tour winners will take on the Harbor Town Golf Links at the RBC Heritage, including the 2014 champion Matt Kuchar, who currently leads the FedEx Cup standings. Hilton Head's one of my top favorite events of the year. I, I love it. I love the fact that RBC is, is a sponsor. Kuchar is among half of the top 30 players in the FedEx Cup standings who joined the field this week. And as one of the shorter courses on tour at 7,099 yards, precision will be key. You see a lot of guys that are good ball strikers that, that play well here year in and year out. Um, you see Graham McDowell, you see Luke Donald, you see Matt Kuchar. They're all on that kind of same profile. Seven of the last 10 champions ranked in the top 10 for driving accuracy, while eight ranked in the top 10 for proximity to the hole. There's a lot of slopes, uh, a lot of funky greens out there. You really have to, to be on top of your game with the irons and try to you know, be precise of where you put the golf ball. You need to keep it low, you need to keep it running. The wind always blows and it's, and it's fiddly, you know, it's really tricky. Brandon Grace led off a three-year run of first-time champions at the RBC Heritage in 2016. Fabulous round of 66 to take the title, his first on American soil. past champions list here is basically dotted with Hall of Fame members. Yeah, it's question. an incredible list of champions here, and I think a lot of that is due to how good this golf course is. The field also features multiple winners of the event, notably five-time champion Davis Love III and Jim Furyk with his two titles on Hilton Head Island. My game when I'm playing well is based on really control and hitting a lot of fairways and I'm comfortable working the ball left to right, right to left, high, low. This course calls for a lot of different shots. If I were to design or build a golf course for me, I just, I'd want it to be just like Harbortown. 